thank everybody on behalf of our firm for being here today. We all know Tony would have loved to have seen every one of you and would appreciate the respect that we're all paying him. Terry, he loved you so much. He spoke with you so fondly. And your love, the two of you, for so many years, is really something that you felt know, so special in this heart. as a shock to absolutely everybody here. Now, what I want to say to each and every one of you is that I share your love for Tony. I have known Tony not as long as some of you, but for over 25 years. And Tony was not just a very close friend, an older brother figure. Tony was the person who hired me to work at the law firm. Tony not only hired me to work at the law firm, but at the time I was a defense lawyer working on the other side of these cases. And Tony taught me what it was like to represent individuals, people, instead of corporations. And Tony taught me by example, and he taught me by sitting down with me and teaching me as a teacher to teach a pupil. And I remember when I first saw that Gare Gare was hiring, I was not 100% sure that I, I wanted the job because I was just being made a partner at a, at a corporate firm. Although my heart was not with the big companies, it was hard as a young man to make that kind of a switch and that kind of a decision. And I responded to the ad. And sure enough, it was to work for Tony Gare. And I went in and I interviewed. And I interviewed with Bob and Ernie and Candace. And asked, Tony asked me to get back right away. And about a week passed, and I didn't call back because I was struggling. And Tony said, why don't you come back up to the office I want to talk to you again, and I want to have Bob and Ernie and some of the other partners talk to you again. And I said, okay, Tony, I'll be up. And I went up, and I spoke to a number of the folks up there, and on my way out, where our conference room is now, there was a little library. And Tony said, let me just talk to you privately for a minute. And he pulled me into the library, and he closed the door. And he said, I want to just tell you how I feel. I don't really know you that well. We've met twice now. But I want to tell you how I feel. Can I just be blunt and honest with you? And I said, of course, Tony. Please, be blunt and be honest with me. And he said, take this job, you stupid mother effort. the <laughs> best thing that ever happened to you. <laughs> what are you doing? Big firm representing these idiot corporations who are just causing problems in society every day when you could represent individuals and you can make a difference in your life. Why would you want to represent Honda when you could represent Henry? And he got close to me, like right up in my face. <laughs> and he said, you have till tonight. Otherwise, I got somebody else who's ready to take that job. But I promise you, Howard, it will change your life. And we're not just talking, Tony said to me, we're not just talking about the financial benefits to you and your family, which will be great. We're talking about your ability to sleep at night, to go through life, knowing that you're helping the little guy. Knowing that without you, the little guy has no voice. And for all of you who knew Tony so well, you know how much that meant to this. Tony was never in this business for the money. Tony never cared about how much money he made or didn't make. Tony cared about the representation, as his father, Harry, taught him. The representation, the zealous advocacy. 
to not sleep at night, but to work for your clients. And Tony gave a speech that he was immensely proud of. And I hope all of you go home tonight and go on Tony's YouTube channel. He's got a great channel of a lot of his speeches and some of ours. And on that channel, he gave a speech at Cooley Law School, where he graduated from. And I have to tell you, what a phenomenal speech. And Tony was a great orator, and he took pride in his oration. He was awesome. He wrote that speech by himself. And what did he say to the graduating class of Cooley Law School? He said to them, I drove and Terry drove, we drove a taxi. And my parents said, we're not just going to give you money. We're going to make you work. And so I drove the day shift and Terry drove the night shift. And he said to the class, I never thought I would be here. I didn't know that I could do this, but I did it. And he said to the class at that time, he said, graduates of the class of 2008, remember, being a lawyer is not a job. You will not punch a clock in the morning and punch a clock at the end of the day. You will live these clients. You will work for them 24-7. And remember, ladies and gentlemen, success, he said, as a lawyer, is not how big your house is or how many cars you might have. Success is when you see that person who has been wrong. When you see that person who has been crippled. When you can make a difference in their life and bring them back to dignity with the financial rewards that only you can get them. Because insurance companies will not do it for them without you pounding on them. And ladies and gentlemen, you have all seen Tony's passion. You have all seen his love for the law and for his clients. But perhaps the only passion he had that was even greater than that was the passion he had for the family, the people that he worked with on a daily basis. The things that this man did for others, the checks that he wrote, the advice that he gave, the genuine love and concern are unparalleled by anyone I know. This was the most genuine man that you will ever meet. He certainly did not live a cookie cutter life. <laughs> we all know that. And those are some stories for another time. <laughs> but we do know how much he loved his team, how much he loved you folks every single day. What he brought to you, Stephanie and Sharon, and Aaliyah, and Chris, and what he brought to his entire team of people, and then the cheer that he spread around the office, and the care and concern, because he really didn't have a family other than us. And the law firm was his life. And they say that some people will work till they die at their desk, and he literally did. And he did that because he loved his clients, and he loved his family. And I cannot ever express adequately or properly the thanks that I have to this man for everything that he did for me, for making me who I am. Tony, thank you so much for so many great years. Thank you for the love. Thank you for the advice. Thank you for always picking up everyone around you. Thank you for setting such a good example of what it's like to be a fine gentleman. I will try my best, Tony, as the years go on, to keep that essence of you in my heart and in my actions. And what you have done for so many people, Tony, will take you straight to heaven, and I know you're there. Tony, I love you so much. You are such a good friend. And such a great partner. May you rest in peace. I want to call Raw. Raw, please come up. Please. Raw was Tony's son. Raw was Tony's brother. Like he is mine and like he is for so many of us. And Raw wrote one of the most beautiful things I've ever I've ever read. 
and he came to my office yesterday and he said, I can't do it. Can you do it for me? And I said, of course, I'll do it for you. So from the heart of this man, dear friends and family, today we gather to remember and honor a man who was a friend and a father figure to many. As we reflect on his life, we celebrate the impact he had on each of us and the legacy he leaves behind. Tony was someone who always was there for you, no matter what. He was kind, compassionate, and had a way of making everyone feel special. Tony lived life to the fullest and inspired us to all do the same. I'll never forget Tony's infectious smile. <laughs> he had a gift for making everyone feel like they belong and that they were part of something special. Tony was also a true adventurer, always seeking out new experiences and embracing life with open arms. He taught me to take risks, to follow my dreams, and never give up on what you truly believe in. It's hard to imagine life without Tony, but I know that he will continue to live through the memories we have shared. I will cherish the moments we had together and carry his spirit with me always. As I say goodbye, I honor his life and all that he meant to me. I will never forget the impact he had on my life and the love he brought into my heart. Rest in peace, Tony, and know that you will be forever missed.